Yo everybody, this is Rock the Great, aka the Toy Book. Oh my gosh. Jason's already trying to kill the camp counselors. We're gonna be going over victims. You know, like if you're gonna play with a, a, a Jason figure, you're gonna need someone for him to hack up or slash up and stuff. And we don't have too many 80s looking civilian figures. Uh, from toy lines, so I thought we would go over some different toy lines that have figures that you could fudge to work for your Jasons and your your Freddies and your and your Michaels, and also I'll go over this cool custom guy that I I kit bashed together that you could copy. I wanted that jock look. You know, this captures that with little to no effort, and so other people could do it. So first off, you probably notice. We have the guy from Black Panther's head. I used his head because he's got that blonde hair and that smirk. But it's weird because he looks so... He's like an older gentleman, so he looks kind of old. But then you throw these sunglasses on him. And uh, now he looks like some young jock. And I gave him a vintage beer that came with the barb figure in his hand. And uh, these hands are actually... So his hands pop out because this is the Diablo body from the multiverse figures you could you know, if you were smart you found them at five below for five dollars I picked up a few of them for his body because uh, this is kinda like a, s a school jacket almost you could you could um, make this work for a school jacket type uh, it, it still has the logos I was in the process of taking this logo off and I'm gonna take off the logo on the back and may either keep it plain or add like a letter like a letterman jacket I feel like this really looks like a Letterman jacket. And then his pants are just plain, right? He's just got some plain pants on, and then he's got some normal, like, kicks. So I just thought it works perfect for, like, a, a young jock. His neck I painted skin color because he has tattoos all over his body. And I found these hands were from a Diamond Select figure where they almost match his skin tone, and uh, they popped right in. So th these actually come out, they go in, and I got articulation on them. So diamond select hands, and then these are sunglasses from the WWE figures, but I just cut them down on the side a little bit like that, thin them out, and then crazy glued it to his head. So now he's like some smirking, look at that. That's cool, might be at the thumbnail right there. But um, yeah, I really like how this guy came out, and he holds the beer perfect, that 80s beer. I could just see this guy getting slashed down from Jason, you know what I mean? He's, he's that like cocky jock right there. Okay, let's zoom out. And then, yeah, you could see he, he scales pretty well with Jason. Very happy with that. We all know the Stranger Things figures. They scale pretty well. And they're from supposed to look like the 80s. So, you know, she's good to fit in with your people. Then also, old Jack's specific wrestlers could be used for some victims. It's not really 80s hair, but, you know, you can make it work. The magic of toy photography, you know what I mean? So, I like her. She's pr She looks like she'd be, uh, you know, a victim of uh, one of these killer guys. And then also, just your standard newer WWE figures. Uh, this is Trish Stratus, a vintage figure of her. And, um, I mean, like, a, like, you know, like a flash, not a flashback, I think they call them flashbacks, whatever, but her older look. And she's got the big puffy hair. Uh, clearly, this was the 90s. It, it, you could pass that hair and that head for, like, uh, an 80s girl. Just change up her pants. Maybe I'd give her jeans so it could cover these legs. And, uh, boom, there you go, some 80s people. Yeah, a little short video. I just wanted to go over some uh, people you could use. Again, I, I like to, some people might be like, oh, this video was a waste, but some people are new to collecting, and I've been getting a lot of feedback from new collectors that say, oh, thanks for sharing that tip and, and that thing. I didn't know that. So I try to approach every video like it's someone coming into the toy, you know, the, the toy community. So I apologize if you already knew all this stuff. To all the, the new people out there, go get some cool people to, uh, for your Jasons and your Michaels to have fun with. And yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Go check out. I posted two videos yesterday, and uh, I hope to post another tutorial soon. Uh, yeah, because this, remember, this is a tutorial channel also. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, we're out of here. Peace. And, uh...